Hello, 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 good afternoon. I'm gonna plug in my phone because I notice it goes dead pretty fast. It's gonna jiggle, sorry. All right, I was feeling antsy today. And so um, we have to, until tomorrow to finish this coming page. Sorry, loud. Um, um, I feel a little jittery. But, okay, anyway, we're coloring this page from the, my Caribbean Sea Life coloring book, and you can get it on Amazon, and it's beautiful, and I did, started a color along on the 23rd of March, and since then, we have been going live, I have been going live, and we've been working on the coloring page for about two hours at a time. This has taken much longer than anticipated, but we were so, are so almost done, and I really want to finish it, obviously, in time, and um, I was feeling antsy, like I said, and I didn't feel like drawing. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't even know what the heck I've done all today. I've taken some pictures for some mock-up, mock-up things. Anyway. Brain fart. Anyway, I wanted to make sure we had enough time to get this finished. And, you know, so we got this to finish here, this bottom part, these fishies, and these fishies. And I am wanting to color this stuff green. But what kind of green? Probably this kind of green. So I'm using Prismacolor colored pencils and I will call out the name if I remember to call a name and number to the best of my ability. And yeah, I don't even know. Onward, I suppose. This is apple green and the numbers are totally, totally knowledgeable. Um, I'm gonna guess it's 9-12. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do first is go in with a light layer of green throughout what I decided or wanted to be green. And that's gonna be our first step. My hand is a little feeling weird today. I've been trying to take a break, uh, a day break in between colorings, but Apparently, I was just wanting to do this today. So, not particularly worrying too much about the lines because I want to start off these little planties kind of all the same color and then we'll try to variate them just slightly. Variate, vary them. Slightly. And our next layers. Now this is the first color along that I posted. Um, I'd say I'm doing these live. I can't guarantee I'll always do them live. But so far it's been really fun. Been having some regulars come in and hanging out. That's always a good time. Let's see. I think this is one of these. That looks like a coral. But I hate to commit to something that I'm not 100% sure, <laughs> sure I'll be able to commit to. But doing these color alongs live has been fun. I think it's helpful for other people. And today I decided to angle my camera a bit. Hopefully that is nice because I do know that sometimes my hand gets in the way of the camera. Did I say I feel like these can be sort of tutorials? That's what I meant to say. Wow, apparently I'm a little bit ADHD today. My brain doesn't want to stay on one path. 
<laughs> but I try to not color for more than I'm trying now to not color for more than two hours at a time and realistically or theoretically one of those things I should probably color less at a time and I just don't feel like I get enough done in like an hour so with this I'm going live on Facebook and YouTube at the same time and sometimes we'll get people on YouTube and Facebook in the chat at the same time and unfortunately we cannot people on YouTube can't see the Facebook comments so I'll do my best to uh, say them out loud when I can when I remember and uh, or put them on the screen Okay, so now we've got the greens colored in. One light layer of Apple Green 912. And I'm going to go in. I just, I pulled out some colors already because I knew I wanted to do greens and maybe some grays for the rocks. <clears throat> so I think, testy test. Probably end up using both of these. Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna go in with the olive green 911 and do. We decided our light was coming that way, so I need to remember that. And we'll do a little bit of shading here. Hello, hello. Be sure to say hi when you're coming in. We are coloring in my book, Caribbean Sea Life. And we're hopefully going to finish the page today. <laughs> it's been a struggle to finish. It might be a little more detailed than I want coloring book but I think it's also pretty cool so we're trying to look at what would create shadows because our light is coming from this direction remember and probably there'd be a little bit of shadow there Then these are further down, so we'll, they'll probably be fully in shadow. So we'll color those in. These will probably have shadow from these. And I'm trying my best to use paper under my hand, but I forget. And I'm finding that it doesn't really help with the whole smudging issue that I have. I don't know if people are like really good at having their hand raised off the table. I don't think I can do that. But the paper doesn't seem to be helping very much. <laughs> This was kind of an impulse live, just because I was feeling antsy, like I was saying. Ready to be done with this coloring page. Take a break, work on something else.
like maybe I should do like a house project because <laughs> I have a ton of them in between color ones. That would be, you know, the responsible thing to do. So I have a lot of half started <laughs> projects or, <coughs> excuse me, or projects that I bought supplies for and haven't started at all. Seems like that'll be more shadow than not. This is just to kind of give myself a little bit more direction when I'm getting in there and working on finalizing the, the colors, remembering where I want the shadows. So we'll do a few layers to create the look that we would like. This is looking pretty good. So, I'm going to look at my colors again here. Make sure I have the darkest green that I want out of my colors and I want options. There are a lot of options. <laughs> Colors, colors. Okay. I think I'll grab. No, that's probably good. Okay. Oh, that's a gray. So, I want to take. Don't want to go in with the dark. This seems. Seems like the darkest green that I have. Oh, I don't know. So that's like a dark olive green, and this is like a dark green, is what it's called dark green. <laughs> and this one is also a darker olive green, but it's called marine green. Maybe we should put that where we might remember to use it. Hello, hello. Okay. So I'm going to take. Which one was this? I don't remember. Did I even color this one? Kelp green. Marine green, kelp green, and dark green. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take... Sharpen my dark green 908. And I'm going to go in where I feel will be the darkest. And I can always go over it with, with some more color if I really feel like it needs to be darker than what we achieve here. But I find that I forget my plans often. So, got to run with it. Be sure to say hi in the comments somewhere. Let us know you're here. We're just coloring the French angelfish page in my Caribbean Sea Life coloring book. We've been working on it for almost two weeks now. 
on and off, obviously not straight. About two hours at a time. And right now we're kind of going in and creating our where we think our dark darks will be in this section. Hello friends. I'm using Prismacolor pencils. They're my favorite. They're easiest on my hands. I did get some Arteza colored pencils yesterday in the mail. I very quickly just grabbed like one or two and like um, scribbled on a piece of paper real quick and actually you guys I was really impressed um, with how smooth it felt buttery. So well I mean I'm gonna play with those a little more before I talk a lot about them but I was very surprised to say the least. So I always am, I'm looking for more softer pencils because the hard leaded pencils are hard on my hands. But yeah, so I got the Arteza and I got a set of the Black Widows. I didn't find the Black Widows as like creamy soft as the Artezas, but they're softer than the Colors, Color pencils, which I know, you know, I never really like experimented with a lot of pencils before. I've always been a Prismacolor junkie. <laughs> and so it's been really interesting to grab a few other brands and test them out. Play with them. So, hmm, <laughs> so our light is coming from this direction, so i got to remember where we're putting our darks. More dark down here. I always do multiple layers when I'm coloring. I don't know if it's because... I want to make it more difficult than it needs to be. Oh no. <laughs> but it's just the way I do. I feel like you can get a lot of dimension using different colors, layers, make things look a bit 3D, etc. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to go in with my lime peel, 10.05. And just to get some more color. In here. Try to be a little bit spontaneous with it so that there's some sort of like variation between the plants. So I don't want them to just look like a green blob, really. So if that's the look you're going for, that's fine. <laughs> Don't really know what to talk about today since I was live yesterday. I don't have anything really new <laughs> going on. Okay. Now, just 
ostrich. What does this look like? Man, that's a good green too. So many good greens. I want like a bluer green. Oh, ha ha. Peacock green. 907. Let me go with that. Sharpen. Go in my dark areas with it again. This is like, looks like when I add this over the top of the other colors we used for the dark areas, it's kind of like jungly green, which is cool. Oh gosh, hopefully you can't hear my tummy talking. I'm not hungry, it's settling, I just ate. Building those layers. Sorry. How are you guys? How are you doing? Say hello. We love the company. Coloring is more fun with friends. Hmm. Hopefully we'll get this page finished today. And then take a break maybe work on some house stuff then we'll start another color along I think at least that's what I'm planning in my head okay I want to take did I already use no this is chartreuse 99 add some bright green in here. Just on where I think there might be some good highlights. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, I need to clear my throat apparently. What do we got here? Oh, I don't know. Need some. We're going to add some artichoke 1098 up in here. Not everything is a perfect green. It's kind of like, I don't know. It's kind of a weird brown green. Next to green, it looks more brown tannish. Give too many dead looking <laughs> leaves. I think I'll give it a little bit of some visual interest and differences. I want to, this one, 
Like it's kind of like in the background, which is why I made it darker, but I think it looks really weird. And I don't really like how it's looking. But how do I fix that? Oh, let's take this kelp green and see if we can kind of sort of give it. It may end up just visually falling to the back, which would be okay too. Because <laughs> it looks it looks weird. <laughs> uh, 909 grass green. That's a weird color too, but. kind of using it for blending a little just a little of this brighter green back to kelp I think or marine green 988 if you want to be sure to let me know you're hanging out what are you up to just coloring. So now up here there'll be more light touching it. I don't know that looks super weird. Grab the dark green. See if I can't get some more shadow and definition going may not be able to because I kind of layered it up a lot. It's looking okay. Mm -mm. Yeah, that was the dark green. Uh -huh. Here's the kelp and then the marine green. Grab the marine and I'm going to sharpen it a little bit more. I know you're probably like, oh, it is pretty sharp already, but it's not sharp enough. Get in these little spaces. It's kind of giving it. I don't know what I was going to say there. I think after we add a little bit of this, we're going to go back to the lighter colors and then let these top parts kind of pop off or pop out a little bit more. So back to lime peel. 10.05, question mark. So I want something just slightly, oh, there's Benjamin. He scared the teasers out of me. <laughs> Hello, cat. What are you doing? Maybe Prussian green. It's a little dark, darker than I want. Maybe that'll work. Maybe this Kelly green 1096 will work better. There we go. Okay, I'll tell you the truth. I'm not loving how this is turning out. I got a little bit crazy, I think. Just 
just didn't want it to be that bright. What is this color? This is apple green. Yeah, I think I'll use some of that. Bring down this neon a little bit. Chartreuse. Uh, oh, Apple Green is 912. Benjamin's tail is going crazy because he, I believe he sees a bird outside. <laughs> hey, Dusty. And they also broke. So Dusty's saying that he uses that same pencil sharpener and his color and prismas also broke. Um, mine don't really break. If they were handled hard during shipping, it could be not your fault. If you drop them, the leads will break inside almost any pencil. Um, I have, I sometimes get <clears throat> the broken lead here and there, but it's probably because I dropped it. And I live in the Virgin Islands, and so, oh, sorry. Uh, apologies on that. I live in the Virgin Island, so um, things kind of get handled hard when shipping here in general. But I don't have a lot of issues with them breaking. I haven't, like I said, I have in the past, for sure. Bring this back in. I like this pencil sharpener. I've been using these for a while. They sell them in sets of three. <laughs> <laughs> so, I recently bought two sets, and I can only find three of those sharpeners. So, yeah, I don't know what happens to them. My house isn't very big, <laughs> but they just disappear. So, Dusty, do you do a lot of coloring? If you complain on the color, you're eating them. I have the colors. I don't love them. Um, they're not bad at all. They're just not my favorite. They, uh, they're a little hard on my hands because the lids are harder than the uh, like Prismacolors. And they brought out some carpal tunnel symptoms for me. And obviously that may not happen for everybody. But... Um, I can't really see me using them very much, so I'm trying to decide if I'm going to keep them or not. I don't know what I'll do with them if I don't keep them, but it's kind of a pain. It's kind of frustrating. I did. I ended up buying the 300 pencil set, and you know what? I, I, I don't need 300, okay? Like, that was overkill. I did not need to buy the 300 set like it's actually overwhelming to try and look at all those colors and uh pick one i think 150 is fine although i have noticed myself wow going wow I, the color has more colors of this one color and stuff like that but it just i don't know i bought some artezas and I quickly uh, scribbled some, and I was very impressed, actually, going back with the chartreuse. I uh, was actually really impressed with how smooth they felt. Where's Benjamin? Are you going here, smell my finger so that people can see you? No? <laughs> he won't. <laughs>
but I think the colors are a decent, like, budget-friendly option. He's so close. Oh, anyway. There he is. <laughs> Barely on the screen. It's been really warm this afternoon. I made some taco mac for lunch and it was delicious. It's my favorite. We're missing some of our regulars up in here today. It was an impulse live. That's true. I sharpened this all. Well, I guess it is kind of off center. But I feel like I sharpened it all cattywonkus. Bothers me. Now I'm going in and I'm kind of going in with the, the lighter color that I desire on these little green plants. And it's serving to sort of... Um, blend and lighten up some areas don't step on no Benjamin you step on the computer hi Lori Benjamin is sitting on the desk oh here's his tail I usually don't really see that's why I don't really let him because his tail goes crazy Really? <laughs> I'm going to put you on your kitty shelf. Um, anyway, going in with the lighter color that I want on these plants. Blending the color. Oh my goodness. He's driving me crazy. Anyway. <laughs> Come on, go on your kitty shelf. So he has a shelf that sticks on the window with suction suction cups. And that actually works really well. I don't have cat hair all over me. And he's like a 15 pound cat. I was nervous about them, but it works really well. Hey, Amy. Welcome. Amy's over on YouTube today. So she says, that's really beautiful. Thank you. Lori likes my colors. Thank you. I hope you guys are all well today. Be sure to say hello. Says there's five people stalking us in here. Well, four now. <laughs> Blending. Blending. We're almost done with the green. That's exciting. I have to decide what color I'm gonna color this thing. It's a like a it's a coral thing. But I don't know. Can't believe it's taking me 40 minutes to color this. <laughs> I'm always astounded. Today I angled the camera. Hopefully it's allowing you to see better because sometimes I know my hand covers what I'm doing. Got sharpen a little for that little leaf bit. And we're using the lime peel. Uh, I believe it's 10.05. It 
So that's one stinky thing I've been noticing. So these are a brand new set of 150s, 150 uh, set of Prismacolors and the stuff is already like gone. <laughs> might have to if I'm going to continue like sharing what colors I'm using I'm going to have to figure out how to keep my name the names and numbers on there okay just getting out any obvious white bits Doing a little layer in the dark areas, kind of gives it some a little bit of interest. <laughs> Running to Walmart. Oh my gosh, that's what um, Amy is saying. She's running to Walmart. I really miss Walmart. There's no Walmart down here. One of my, <laughs> when I was really bored, I would go to Walmart, <laughs> walk around, spend money. <laughs> but and not very often. I just really liked looking at like the new stuff they had or their art supplies. I was often in the notebook aisle or the other art supply aisle. So I got a thing for notebooks. All right. So, oop, here's some obvious white I missed. There and here. Okay. Now, done with that green stuff. Oh, I'll still need that. Now, I think I'm going to put the greens away because I'm not going to use them again. So bear with me on that. I have um, this sort of pencil case. And I love, I, I really like them. There's one downside to them is, you know, you have to open them to be able to see all the colors and stuff. So that, that's kind of sucky, but they don't take up as much space. I used to use um, uh, pencil rolls, and I really like those, but like to see all the colors at once, you had to unroll them all the way. And that just didn't work for me. I often didn't have that sort of space to have them. Okay, now, grab those grays for that. What color do you think I should do this? Ooh, maybe like a coral color. Coral for coral. <laughs> now, I don't know. It does. Do personal colors have a coral? Salmon pink. Oh, that's kind of nice. Um, I don't want to keep it too pink. I want it to like not be orange, not be pink, be a little different. If you guys happen to know what would be most corally color, I'd love to hear it. That is not, but it might be a good shadow. Uh, definitely don't really have a coral color off the top. So would you would you what would you say is a coral color? Kind of orangey. Orangey pinkish. Like that? That's not too close to that, is it? I don't think so. And then we'll grab their pink pink. 
Okay, I think I can make something work with that. And I want a darker color for shadow. I mean, I have that one, but I want more variance, more darker. Mm. That won't work. That's a brown or pumpkin orange is actually what it is. Should I use like a red? No, that won't look good at all. Well, I could make it look fine, but oh, oh, look at this. Nope. <laughs> Picking colors. Nope. Not quite right. Maybe. Nope. No way. I am having a hard time. That, nope. Golly, guys. I thought I would find something. Did I already look at this one? Yes, the mahogany red. I'm just going to grab it just in case. Okay. Maybe a gray. All right, so we're going to take the lightest color here which is the salmon pink which is 1001 sharpen and we're gonna go ahead and lightly fill this in as the first layer of defense the first layer of our colors and you can see that my stupid hand got color everywhere and it's like kind of smudging it around here now that it's been on the paper You know, I'm surprised there's not a coral color in the Prismacolor pencils, like one named coral. <sighs> okay, so we got that down. Let's give a little bit of this orange color. I gotta empty my pencil sharpener real quick. So what I have, it, my thing is too close to show you guys, but what I have is a empty Clorox wipe tube and I just empty my pencil shavings in there. <laughs> and I keep that on my desk or wherever I'm at. This is. Pale Vermilion 921. We're going to go ahead and put this in sort of the shadow areas, I think. Or actually, we're going to put it all over. Yeah, I lied. So I want this to be more corally in color. And I feel like it's more... It's not. So, I think this helps make it look more coral. Got a lot less, well, I've had some, some people hang out, not very many people say hi. I was going to say, I think there's been a, less people, but there's been different people coming in that haven't hung out before. That looks way better. Don't you think? I do. Okay, so now I'm going to take this pink, pink 929, sharpen. Not much, just a little. 
and go in and give some areas a little bit of a pink hue. Nothing super crazy. That looks neat. Some of it will be more solidly colored pink because I can. I like it. Okay, so before I get too crazy, I want to go in with sort of shade color this is lighter than i thought it was i don't think it'll work for shading now maybe a gray maybe that'll work okay okay so now remember that the sun is coming this way so how to remember where our shadows will be I think I'm gonna go in with a, another pink and use that as the blending pink. So give it some interest here. I'm gonna put some dark by the lines. It will make some of them look like they're coming out. Some of them look like they're kind of bumping in. bumping in <laughs> technical language over here okay I do want to go with let's see I, think I'm gonna, I am gonna take this mahogany red Oh, did I even talk about that gray? This was 50% French gray, 1072. This is mahogany red, 1029. And this is gonna be my dark, dark, I think. So I'm going to put that where I feel some of the darkest shading will be. And it will look a little bit different once we put the final layer on. Because I think it will kind of... Um, lighten it up which which could be really interesting Now let's pick that pink that I think we might try, or we can try the colorless blender. The pink will probably put a pretty, pretty good white. Okay, we're gonna grab these and just, just see here a white layer because there'll be more white. Oh, that's not bad. 
color pink do I actually want? Maybe? Kind of leaning towards this pink rose. What does... I don't really like how it looks. When I use the blender. So I'm going to take this pink rose, sharpen it. Caddy Wonkus. Um, and we're going to use this as our blender color. So we're going over the final layer on this little coral bit. We're using this pink rose 1018 as our little blender color. <sighs> and I don't know, maybe it was a failed experiment, but it'll look fine. It looks all right. Might go in and add some a little bit more orange orangey color to it. If you're here and hanging out, I'd love for you to say hello. Let me know you're chilling and what you're up to. Okay, just about done with this color. Oh, missed a whole entire spot right there. All right, so I'm gonna go back in and bring out a little bit more colors again by just kind of, they're not gonna come out a whole lot because I, uh, put in that final layer but they'll come out a little bit and I think it'll bring it some more interest or it'll look like a dying coral I don't know well actually when coral dies it turns white but <laughs> okay that's not the worst I'm gonna get that pink again um, 929. Do a bit of the same thing where I put pink before. Even put it over some of where I just put that orange. All right. Well, looks interesting. Not in luck with it, but I don't hate it. Okay. Now, I think mostly because the lines got covered up by the lighter colors since they have white in them. So I might go ahead and grab my black really quick and just um, put some color back in. After I put these away, of course, Attempt to, oh boy. 100% putting these in the wrong spots. <laughs> yeah. I'm go ahead, grab my black. 
So I don't like when the lines are covered up too much. So what I'm gonna do is just go over these lines to bring them out a little more. I mean, I'm sure it'll be really hard with like pens because of the wax will make it difficult for the pen to lay down. It'll clog up a micron pen. Sharpie would get clogged up. So maybe, maybe like the only thing that would work really well would be like a, a paint pen, but I don't know if they have any that are small enough to do something like this. So I usually go back and just get those lines popped out again. Sometimes I miss the line and I just I just try not to worry about it. <laughs> Sometimes easier said, but make sure you get all those detail lines too because that really helps make the image unique. Okay. Got that pop back out. <laughs> that looks way better. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead with these rocks. And honestly, I feel slightly overwhelmed even thinking about coloring them. I don't know why. It's gonna be just like a lot of grayish color. I suppose I could really like use any color I wanted, but. I won't. I probably won't. I'm going to go with this putty beige <laughs> 1083. And uh, let's go ahead and get a light layer of color over everything. We're going to do kind of like we were doing with the grass or those green plants over there. Get our color everywhere. We'll leave the little fishies for last. How about that? Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing over here. You know, this could be a coral. I don't know if I want to go there or not with it. They have some pretty interestingly shaped corals out there in the ocean. Okay. So I brought out these brownie grays. I'm gonna go ahead and take a look really quick at my grays. See if there's any other ones I may want to use. And then I'm gonna grab like a pretty dark warm gray because these are like warm grays really okay so there's a few choices for us there and a little bent edge there to take this 90% French gray 1076 
Just lay in some shadow, I think. And take a drink of water. says we've only been on for an hour and five minutes yeah makes sense okay so just remember the light is coming from this direction and so on the opposite that on these rocks will be where the shade is Then we'll kind of put in the shade pretty dark in between the rocks. And we can decide how we want this to kind of look. Give it some interesting shape. When we put it on this side, it can look kind of concave. Put it on that side, that looks like it bumps out. So this will have shade from the coral. And this will have shade just because it will. Then we'll put some here. To show that the rock has some dimension. you could like add more lines or whatever if you want it to be a more bumpy rock you could add more dark lines and more shading and however big you make this shadow this will look bigger <laughs> Okay, so it's a little bit of shadow for that. That's the darkest dark oh, stretch hand real quick. It's kind of mid-range color. Darker, but not dark dark. Since I know I'm going to have some dark dark darks i'm going to take this 90 percent warm gray 1058 go in these little areas here because they'd basically be pretty close to black then right on the edges like that Give it some more definition because like closer, I think I showed someone. You see how it's darker, the shadow, like right by the my hand. But like when it's further away, it kind of gets lighter and a little bit dissipates. So that's kind of what trying to do here
Okay. Probably won't need that again for this section. It's, it says warm gray, but it's definitely not the same kind of warm gray. But we're going to go ahead and put this as a layer in the darker areas. Then some of the rocks just might be darker rocks than others. So I'm going to pick a couple to be darker rocks, a couple or a few. And this one. And we'll go back and go back with that the darkest dark we got here which is the 90% warm gray since we decided to have some other color or some rocks that are different colors gotta reestablish that dark shadow. Darker rock is going to have a darker shadow. Okay. Stretch it to hand. Was this again? That color. This. I'm go in. Give it some of this brownish gray. Especially on these darker. Okay, now I want to, so 
we did the initial lay down of color with this, go ahead and just put that up here on the top again. I'm going to add some to here. Put it more solidly where I think the light will be touching or shining on the rock a little more. Okay. Or rocks, rather. And I'm not going to go in with color as solidly as I did like the fish or the background because rocks are pretty imperfect. So I'm going to try and leave some kind of white spots on purpose. Now I think this is the next gray. Oh, and that other one was the Putty Beige 1083. This is the 30% French Gray. I'm going to go in around here. It's kind of like that mid gray color. Some of these may not need more colors, and some of them might need a mid-darker color to get them looking more brighter. Yeah, so I need a little bit darker than this. That one seems almost too, that was 30%, wasn't it? Yeah, I guess this is the next darker one, but it's pretty dark. We'll just go and add it above the darker ones because it's not quite as dark. But it's a pretty good dark. need that additional shade for the lighter rocks it seems okay Grab, I'm going to grab my white real quick, and I'm going to put some white in here to see if it will pop out. There we go. Pop out a little more instead of recede. There we go. Let's 
same with the edges of these little crevasses. We'll see if that kind of make gives it some interest. I'm going to call those rocks completos, complete. Now, for these ones, they're so dirty. <laughs> we want, I mean, do, they, do we want them to be darker or about the same? Or a different color entirely? Hard questions. Water. Hmm. You know, there is some like light purple sponges out there in the ocean. Is that what I want to go for? I think that would be weird. It might be okay. I don't know. Where do I want to go? Browder? So many decisions. This. Such a nice color. Look at it. So pretty. Mahogany red. I like that. Hmm. I'm going to use it. I'm going to put this color in, in the dark areas because I feel like being a rebel. So the dark areas are going to be on the opposite sides and where there's overlap so maybe I'll just make this some um, dark red and then we'll go and use the gray again, but this will be the visual interest change. And I'm kind of feel done making decisions, to be honest. <laughs> but we're so close. It's going to be dark. It will be dark. Going crazy. Black raspberry. Darker, dark. You know, I think these always sharpen crooked because this is just like slightly too big. So I probably put pressure on one side. more than the other side. I don't know. Dark darks.
yeah, I think we'll be able to finish this today. Maybe. Gosh. We have 35 minutes until the two hour mark. I have to stop. You know, I had my Taco Mac before I started this, and now I'm like, hmm, it's going to be an issue come dinner time. It's pretty much time for Dan to decide about dinner, I think. Doing a lot of dinner decision making gets very tiring. Okay. Getting even closer. Okay, I like that. It's looking interesting. I'm gonna go with the 50% French gray. Go from the bottom up to that mid-ish range of color. I'm definitely kind of smudging that those reds ish that we put in with the gray. I'm trying to color these individually because each rock will have its own shadows. and uh, being shaded upon by other rocks. And some we will make a solid darker, like that. We'll just pick some randoms here. There. And those two. Your hand popping 70% French gray. We're gonna go in those ones. We decided we're gonna be the darker and blend out that red color with it, being sure to leave some little bit light color at the top or where we think, if we think there will be light hitting that there on that rock. These ones are kind of small. I'll try my best. Okay. Let me say this one is gonna be dark. Maybe not. But it is now. Okay, now is that it? I feel like I picked another one. Okay, guess not. We'll go with the. I wanna go. We'll go with the thirty percent French gray, ten seventy, and go on some other ones and blend out some colors, being sure to pull it up to the light part of the rock. Just 
doesn't have to be perfect. We just got to make sure they look rock-like still. <laughs> or we can decide that they're corals. Oh, did I miss this one? So I'm putting this light gray color where I want light to be on the dark rocks we decided. That looks neat. Hopefully it looks all right with everything else. <laughs> Got crazy and impulsive. Now, I don't think I really, I might take white and finish these off where the light, where I want the lightest colors to be. We'll take a look at my color choices once more. Make sure there's not a gray that I think I should use instead of white. So we have a 10% warm gray. I'm gonna do that instead of white. So I'm gonna take this 10% warm gray and go in on these light areas just quickly. I might still grab the white to kind of give some additional highlights. Forgot about that one. We kept trying to color orange <laughs> last time. Or We're so close to dawn, it's so exciting. Yeah, I'm gonna grab the white. Oh, it's already out. White, sharpen it just a tad. And I'm gonna go over where we want the highlights to pop more. But we're also gonna do a little smudging of colors. So if you press kind of hard with the white, sometimes it will scrape the undercolors a little bit and then the white will show up more. It's just interesting how it works sometimes. Now I'm thinking while I'm doing this final bit to these little rocks, thinking about what colors to make these little fish. I do have, I did see someone make some cute little fish the other day and now I'm not sure. Oh, I think, I'm not sure if I like what colors they used. I need to look at it again. Go back with the black, add in some lines like I did on that coral over there because I feel like they're not, they got a little bit covered up. Yeah, let me come pop out more. So it's kind of cool if you like embrace this, you can really. I don't know if I want to embrace losing my lines. So you can do some interesting stuff. Make your own shaped things. Add your own elements to the page. All kinds of goodies.
I missing any? These. All right. So that looks kind of cool. So finally, we are on to, we are almost on, we are on to the tiny fish, which are, which is exciting because we're almost done. We got 25 minutes left for our two hours is complete here today. Put these away because they'll be in my way otherwise. I'll pull up real quick. Mm, I don't think they'll work out. So I saw someone do um, kind of like a neon yellow tail with bright neon orange stripes and a blue body, but they're all kind of neon colors. Maybe I can do... I'll try and share with you the screen real quick. Window. So that's kind of what I'm looking at. Um, I think that won't really match what we're doing here very much. Hmm, I'm at a loss. <sighs> Got little bits of pencil everywhere. So I want them to kind of like not blend in with the background, of course. Um, maybe I will do something kind of like that. I wish I kept that person's name on my screenshot silly me I guess I didn't it's in one of the coloring groups but don't love it so to make them pop oh you know what I was going to try before I went on I wanted to see if I could get some of the smudgy color out of these guys. So this is just an eraser. Oh, I think it's helping a little bit. And I'm just trying to erase inside their bodies. Might be better with a harder eraser. Hmm, I think it's helping. Do it up here as well. Okay. Well, I'm leaning towards having them kind of orangey yellow, so I'm going to go for it. So it's kind of how I lean. <laughs> I don't know. It's just when I get these colors. Orangey. This orangey. I don't know. I love it. What one is this? Spanish orange 1003. Kind of 
do this to everyone. What color do you think I should do the other parts of them? <laughs> Everything's going to look stupid, I think. Do you guys hear that rooster? It's very faint, but it's there. It's just going and going. <laughs> Continuing to yell. Well, this will be interesting with that coral right here. Did not answer. Don't want to. I don't know. Do they look down? They look a little dumb. I'm trying to think of fish here, but there are like so many colors of fish, and like all the colors are running together in my head. <laughs> There's some dull ones. There's some not dull ones. Oh, this is hard decision. Forgot some yellow or whatever it was, Spanish orange. No, oh, did the wrong one. Gosh, should be all right. Mm. I'm not pleased with myself, not knowing what I wanted, to, what I wanted to do. Maybe green. Maybe they should be more green. Hi. <laughs> Let me take indigo. Just, I don't know. Kind of going by the seat of my pants here. These are going to look terrible. But I'm just giving them some shadows. Should I be pink? <laughs> Should it be blue? Oh, I need help. <laughs> what color? They look stupid right now because they're not purple. They could be purple. We could do purple. Let's do freaking purple. Hi. We're coming close to the end of this live stream. I am trying very hard to get this page completely finished within about the next 15 minutes. This is Dahlia Purple 1009. I'm going for it. I think we look weird on top of the orange, but I think what I'm going to do Give it a nice layer here. And go back after we've got these blocked in. Purple fish. You know, that is not a color of fish that I've seen here. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I know they're 
orange and purple at the, or blue, not blue, gosh, orange and yellowy, yellowy, orange and purple. There we go. Come on, brain. The people just coming and going today. Oh, I missed a complete missed spot of this coral over here. Completely. Nothing. Nothing in it at all. Let me grab there. <laughs> okay. Oh, I still needed that too for this because I forgot to color this in. So I think we're going to take like a lighter purple and then we'll like color over this and to calm it down a little bit then maybe that lighter purple okay. had a random inclination to use some magenta let's give it some obnoxiousness and then we'll go over with some totally getting out of the lines a little bit here intentional just want to get okay so now let me grab is this even light yeah Grab this light purple, which is actually grade lavender, which is 1026. And you know what? Instead. Mm -mm. I'm going to go ahead and go over this orange with this process red before I get going with that lavender or grayed lavender. It's process red, 994. And I want to color this in and that makes it look kind of red, orange, pink. <laughs> How much do you think I'm going to regret these fish? I'm a little bit already on that regret train, but we'll probably turn out fine. <laughs> Just be kind of weird. I think we can save them. So I feel like this zoomed in all of a sudden when I got that phone call. So I do apologize if I've been coloring off the screen since I got that phone call. It's weird that it does that. So let's take that grayed lavender. Smudge some of this stuff around. See what happens. So I'm using it in the darker bits at the moment. Doing a little bit of blending. Oops, sorry, just totally pumped the camera arm. 
and I'm just gonna go for it. Go for it. I think I want to add white there. Just see if I can get a little bit of highlight going. Do white stripe. Well, it's not really white, but just like a different color. Won't be able to really do it with all of them. Okay. So now with this grayed lavender. It's making these bits look kind of dull, kind of like a fish actually would have some dull bits and then some bright bits. But they're not wonderful. I mean, I don't love them. I don't hate them. I mostly don't love them though. Mistakes were made. It happens. I should have just gone with the, you know, the one guys that I was like, oh, but I don't like them. I should have did it anyway. It's whatever. It's fine. <sighs> Ruin the entire thing at the very end. When we get this little section done, we'll go in with the black and uh, get those lines back out. Of oh, these little dudes. And I can pretend that I love them, but I don't. <laughs> Coming back, getting their lines back in because they look really weird without it. Oops, hit it again. My bad, so sorry. I think I ruined them. Should I go like with some pink in there? Like, let's see. I don't know if that hurts or helps. Maybe it doesn't look as gross. They kind of looked gross. color in their little eyeball, pupil, that looks better, okay, they're not as gross, that's fine, I feel better now, <laughs> we'll do that with the rest of them too, salvage them kind of, Do you think trying some neon pink would be the worst idea? Maybe it is. It might be. It might be. But I just, I just want to see. Yeah, it is the worst idea. <laughs> Sometimes I make bad color choices, okay?
Now, I think it's working again. So we have finished our first color along. And that is the final bit. I had some ideas of changing some things, but you know, I'm just done. <laughs> and so this is kind of how, let me see if I can get it to where they're not shiny. How those little fish turned out. They're not the best, but they're definitely not as ugly as they were. <laughs> but, so they don't pop out as much as I'd like them to, but it's not, it's really not the worst. I think my favorite part are the angel fish, especially the adults and the corals. But anyway, I'm going to wrap this up and I appreciate you guys hanging out. Um, and I am excited to move on to something new. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.